information about preferences that comes directly from the resident can greatly enhance quality of life and demonstrate respect for the resident's choices. Most residents can answer questions about what is important to them. You will notice in this section the resident has several response choices. When identifying the best questions and responses, we saw that it is easier to answer a question when the choices match the questions with the experience of the resident. That is one reason that absolute yes-no answers are not always easy to give. This was particularly true when we tested different ways to ask residents about their preferences. We tested fewer response options and found that residents were frustrated if the responses didn't allow them to distinguish between very important and somewhat important, or between not very important and not important at all. Another response choice that deserves comment is important but can't do or no choice. We added this choice after we learned that many residents had preferences that they felt were important but could no longer be achieved. Having this choice made responding easier for residents and also gave their providers important insight into perceived limitations. You should use these response options to interview and to code MDS 3.0. Unlike other interview sections, the residents' responses do not provide a standardized score. In the scenario, you see that the interviewer responds with some solutions during the interview. You can use that approach, or as demonstrated in other interviews, bring the information back to the care planning team to develop resident-specific approaches to follow-up and solutions. Okay, Mr. Dennis, now I'm going to be asking you some questions about what is important to you in your daily routine. I realize that you haven't been here long enough to set up a day-to-day -day routine, but answering these questions will help the team learn about what's important to you. It'll also help us plan your care around your preferences so that your stay with us is more comfortable. But, but you're being so formal. Just call me Joe. Okay, Joe. Yeah. I'll call you Joe. Thank you. So now I'm going to be um, asking you to tell me about what is very important, somewhat important, not very important, not important at all, important but can't do or no choice. Now let me explain to you what the important but can't do or no choice answer is. That is if you feel something is important mm -hmm. but you're not able to do it because of health or because of what's available in this facility. Oh, you mean like dancing, huh? <laughs> I, I hate to brag but I used to be a pretty good dancer but uh, can't do it anymore. Exactly. So if you tell me something that is important to you, but you feel you can't do it, this will help us find ways so that you're able to do that or something related to that. Let's say, for instance, dancing. We can set up a music or moving activity that you would enjoy. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Okay, so now I'm going to be asking you some questions um, in regards to why you are here in this facility. How important is it to you to choose what clothes to wear? Mm. Is it very important, somewhat important, not very no, important? No, somewhat important. Somewhat, yeah. okay. How important is it to you to take care of your personal belongings or things? Very important, somewhat important, not very important, not important at all. Kind of very important, yeah. Very important, okay. How important is it to you to choose between a tub bath, a shower, a bed bath or a sponge bath? Oh, I prefer a shower, but uh, I guess it's uh, somewhat important. Okay. How important is it to you to have snacks available between meals? Uh, <laughs> not, not very important. Not I gotta, very important. What's the old belly here? Uh... <laughs> okay. How important is it to you to choose your own bedtime? Very important, but I don't think I can do it here. You know, for example, last night they put me in bed at 8 o'clock. Now, I know they're very busy and they've got schedule to take care of, but uh, you know, 8 o'clock, uh, I'm just not ready to sleep at 8 o'clock. Okay. I will make a note of that, that you felt that you didn't have a choice mm -hmm. and that you have a preference for mm -hmm. your bedtime yeah. so that you do have a choice while you're here at this facility. Oh, man. Good. Thank you very much. Okay. How important is it to you to have your family or close friend involved in discussions about your care? Very important. I want my daughter to know everything that's going on. Okay. And so it's very important. All right. 
While you are here in this facility, how important is it to you to be able to use the phone in private? Privacy. And very important. Very important. Okay. And while you're here, how important is it to you to have a place to lock your things to keep them safe? You mean my valuables? Right. Well, uh, <laughs> I don't have any valuables, so it's uh, somewhat important. Okay. All right. While you are in this facility, how important is it to you to have books, newspapers, and magazines to read? Very, very important. We, uh, I love magazines, and uh, I enjoy a good book, too. Okay. How important is it to you to listen to music you like? Ah, uh, very important. What type of music do you like? Particularly opera music. Did you ever hear of uh, Renee Fleming? She's an opera singer. I've never heard of her, but no, I enjoy opera music. She's an opera, and she sings like a dream. Okay. Sit here. So, how important is it to you to be around animals such as pets? Uh, not very important. I, I used to have a dog. Always had a doggy and mm -hmm. enjoyed them, but now, I, no, it's, it's not very important. Okay. How important is it to you to keep up with the news? Very important. The world is going to hell in a handbasket. Uh -huh. I, I want to know what's going on. Okay. And while you're here, how important is it to you to do things with groups of people? Groups of people. Well, let me think about that. Uh, no. Nah. Not very important. Okay. How important is it to you to do your favorite activities? Like what? Let's say, for instance, hobbies or things you might be interested in. Oh, I, yeah, I used to love to do crossword puzzles, but uh, not my eyes, but the, um, the squares are getting awful small now. Okay, yeah. so would you say that it's very important, somewhat important? Uh, it's uh, very important. Very important. I can't do it anymore. Okay. Well, I'll make a note of that, and I will share this with the team so that we can make the print on boxes bigger for you. You can do that? Yes, we can. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Okay. How important is it to you to go outside to get fresh air when the weather is good? Ah, uh, fresh air is very, very important, but unfortunately, I can't, can't walk as far as I used to. Okay. I'll make a note of that. How important is it to you to participate in religious services or practices? Not, not very important. I, I used to be more religious, but uh, getting old, I guess. Okay. Well, thank you very much for answering these questions. These answers are very helpful to us. I will share this with the care team, and um, some of the team members will come back to talk to you about things you identified as important or important but can't do. Is there anything else that you feel is important that you would like to share with me? I think we've covered a lot. We've done very well. Yes, we did. If everybody in this facility is as nice as you, I think we're going to enjoy it here. Oh, thank you. I appreciate yeah. that. But uh, if, if I think of something, I'll call you. Okay, thank you. Yeah, well, thank, thank you. you. It's been, been a pleasure. I've enjoyed this. So tell me more about um, Renee Fleming. Oh, the Renee opera Fleming. Singer. She, Not familiar all, with her. First of all, she's gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Individuals in long-term care settings continue to have distinct lifestyle preferences. In the National Test of MDS 3.0, the overwhelming majority of both short and long-stay residents appreciated being asked about what was important to them. The care planning team will consider those items that were very important or important to Joe. They will also consider those items he rated as important but can't do, no choice, and assess whether any perceived barriers can be removed or a substitute be provided. Preferences may change over time. Therefore, the assessment of activity preferences is intended as a first step in an ongoing dialogue between the care provider and resident.